that black smoke you see? That is the fabric, the beds, the couch, whatever burning. It gives off heat and toxic fumes. Again, if you're caught in a fire, you should never stand up like I am now. You should get down on your hands and knees and get out of the house. Now, we're just going to let this one go for a few minutes because we want to use them again um, in a few minutes. Again, from where I'm standing, I can feel the heat of that fire. So you can imagine what it's like for us to go in the front door of your house and come up against something like that. And now that crew's going to go in and extinguish it. We got the white smoke and then the uh, overhaul crew is going to go in behind them. Now that second line that you see over to my right is the uh, safety line. In case something goes wrong, we have a line that we can protect the firefighters and do whatever we have to. Now you see they're pulling the, the mattress and stuff out like that. And another thing is a lot of people say when we go to fires and stuff like that, why are they breaking the windows in the house? Well, we're breaking the windows in the house for two reasons. For our safety and so we can advance and put the fire out. It's not, it lets the heat and the toxic fumes escape from the house. If we didn't break the windows, we'd have to fight the fire and absorb all that heat and smoke. So we break the windows for a purpose. Not that we want to, it's for our advantage for us to help it. Okay, so this fire is basically out. They're going to call up, overhaul it a little bit, and then in a little bit we're going to put the other one on, and then a little bit later that, and then we're going to do the car. So we have a few more good activities this afternoon. I uh, hope you'll be able to enjoy them and join us later. Thank you and have a good day.